Hey everyone, this is Brad with the website Tech Mobile versus RBI Baseball. Today's instructional video is called Run Defense 101. We're going to teach you a few ways that uh, you can run a, you can utilize a run defense scheme and prevent the offense from running the ball down your throat. So let's get into the video. So we're going to kick this video off uh, with a clip of a play. This is from a two player game against a buddy of mine, and this is Eric Dickerson just annihilating a defense. Ran right at me. Last thing I needed you to do. God, that's a move. Oh, Dickerson's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> So to prevent big plays in the run game, you have to understand how the run blocking scheme works. So in this illustration here, Walter Payton is going to take the ball with a run play to the bottom half of the field. When he does that, there's three defenders that go unblocked that are unaccounted for in the run blocking scheme. You have your top defensive end, your top outside linebacker, and your top defensive back. So in this scenario, these three guys can make the play without having to worry about a blocker that you have to shed. So what you can do is just run mainly down the slide him down the line of screen the excuse me, slide him down the line of scrimmage to make the tackle. Uh, same with Wilbur Marshall and Barry Wilburn as well. The same is true with using bottom defensive uh, players. Uh, both these bookend positions, your bottom defensive end, your bottom outside linebacker, and your bottom defensive back. So this trio of players, they are on the backside of a run play that would go to the top. So again, this guy can slide up the line, this guy can slide up the line, this guy can come over here to make the tackle. So we're going to get to some video that will show you what it looks like when they're unblocked. Alright, so in this section of the video, what I want you to focus on is the defensive player with the number two over his head. So we're going to roll this. I'm going to be uh, choosing Dexter Manley here. And I'm just going to pause it for a second. Yeah, so we're going to use Manley. The next play we'll use Wilbur Marshall. And then um, uh, Barry Wilburn. Um, and so just keep an eye on this guy and watch how no one picks him up. So yeah, Manley completely left unaccounted for. Next up will be Wilbur Marshall, same scenario, or into the bottom half of the field, Marshall is unblocked. And then we'll go back to defensive back Barry Wilburn on a bottom run, his top DB position unblocked. Okay, so now what we're going to do is show you some illustrations of what it looks like when the run play goes to their half of the field. So in this scenario, all three defenders will be blocked. So I'll pause for a moment here. So here's Manly. He will get blocked. Uh, I believe it's this guy here. So we'll find out here. Uh, but right there, he's engaged. Um, next up will be Wilbur Marshall, the receiver. I'll pause it here. The receiver here is going to take a few steps down, come back up to get to Marshall. And right there he's engaged, so he's tied up. And lastly, I'm going to pause it here. Um, I misspoke earlier on who blocked Manley, but this guy here is a guard. He's going to come out, come around the edge of the line, and seek out Barry Wil Wilburn here. And there he goes, engages him right there, Payton's off. Um, so as you can see, uh, how the run blocking scheme there works, um, and the, the problem is when you get blocked, it takes time for you to shed your, your blocker, and it gives the running back ample time to get to the second and third level of the defense. Um, now this next play we're going to run here, this just illustrates how it works in reverse. Um, so you can be the bottom defensive end, the bottom outside linebacker, or the bottom defensive back. And on a run play to the top, um, these three players will also not be blocked. Okay, right. And so in this scenario, just keep your eye on this number two player here. 
Charles Mann, just watch how he's not blocked. So that's why it's key to use book end defenders, as I like to call them, the, the, the two defensive end positions, the outside linebacker top and bottom positions, and the two defensive back positions. Um, the reason you know that's key is you've only got about a 50% chance of getting run on if they call the run play to your half of the field. Um, and then also you can use those positions to primarily call pass plays. Now the key with the defense though is um, it's a ploy that we call strong side run. So with that knowledge of the run blocking scheme, what we're going to do is we're going to show how you can protect your defenders. Okay, so here we're going to discuss how you use strong side run. So as we've illustrated, uh, Dexter Manley's here, Wilbur Marshall's up here, and Barry Wilburn's up here. So if you call run one, which is directed at them, you protect them. So by calling that play, they can't run at them even though they're blocked. And then so when Washington goes to run two here, Dexter Manley can slide down the line of scrimmage and make the tackle. Um, Wilbur Marshall here can also slide down the line of scrimmage, make the tackle. Barry Wilburn, who's here, can also come from this position and make the tackle. So again, to illustrate here, um, if you're using a top bookend defender, Manley, Wilbur Marshall, Barry Wilburn, uh, if you sit in this run one call, they can't run at you, and then you're unblocked on the run to the opposite half of the field. So let's take a look at some of the video here. And we'll show you how it works. On this play here, uh, Peyton's going to take it to the bottom because it's to the opposite half of the field. Manley will just slide down the line of scrimmage and make the tackle. Here, what I've done is call the run play at Wilbur Marshall. So I'm protecting my defender. And when they try to run up there, uh, stop him for loss. And here, same scenario as before. Peyton's going to run down here. Wilbur Marshall will able will be able to just come down as a backside defender and make the tackle. And here we're going to switch it up. I'm going to go to Charles Mann. Here I've called the bottom run play. So again, I'm protecting Charles Mann so I can't be run on. Goes in and makes a tackle. And so we're back in the same situation. I'm Charles Mann. I'm, I'm in a, a call protecting him with the bottom run call. Chicago's going to run to the top. Mann's going to come just through the line, make an easy tackle. So as you can see, it's a pretty devastating ploy for the offense. Manly here, I've protected him, called a run at his half of the field. And here we're going to mix in um, some strong side protect with the defensive back. So with Green here, Daryl Green, I've called the run play to the bottom. I've stopped this play. Chicago's going to call the top play. He's going to come. Peyton does kick it. He cuts back. I don't know why the computer does that so well frequently. But Daryl Green, easy uh, tackle there. Another illustration here. Kick it to the top. Green just makes his way up there and makes a tackle. So you can see here, by making this run one call, being this defender, uh, Dexter Manley, for example, um, you stop this play because you've called it. And because of the run blocking scheme, he's able to come down and shut down this play. So by being Dexter Manley, calling this one play, you pretty much can shut down both run plays. So there will be some players uh, that are at the middle of the field, uh, very fast defenders. That's where your Mike Singletary, for example, is, is uh, located. And this is a good example. Um, the problem with being Singletary is if you don't call the same run play as the offense, he's going to be blocked each and every time. So let's play the clip, the video here against Denver. 
So as you see there, Singletary, he will get blocked. This will be a run play to the bottom. And he's blocked there. I will want some, move this ahead a little bit. What's interesting is this blocker comes and finds him again. Watch, watch this, he gets popcorn again at the end there. Um, and then here, um, it's gonna be a run play to the top. Singletary, you know, being in the middle of the field, susceptible to being run blocked. So it's picked up there. Um, so, you know, a lot of people, when I play them at Chicago, they ask me, why don't you use Singletary? Quite, you know, the easy answer is he's a liability in the run game. Now, if you're playing an inexperienced player, you can probably shoot in with Singletary and make some diving tackles. But when you're playing the guys that know the angles to run, they know how to set up their blocks um, as a running back, those are the guys that will ultimately torch um, a defender that's using Mike Singletary. Here is San Francisco's playbook. Got Chicago here, they only have one run play. But as you can see here, um, if you're Singletary against San Francisco, it's devastating because he will be blocked. So blocker picks up Singletary. Craig can pick up some good yardage here. Um, so I'm going to roll back here. So what we've covered earlier. Um, so when you're playing San Francisco, for example, um, to stop the run, you're going to want to be Richard Dent because, like, um, he can just slide down the line of scrimmage and make the tackle. Same with Dave Duerson here. So Singletary is a guy you'll want to go to when San Francisco comes out and shotgun, but not necessarily a guy that you're going to want to be when San Francisco uh, with Joe Montana is under center. Okay, last but not least, we're going to talk about a run defensive scheme that we call bunk bed defense. So the, the general premise of our run defense is to be a bookend defender, a D-end, an outside linebacker, defensive back, and call run play at his half of the field. So ultimately you're protecting him. Well, there is a ploy in Tech Mobile that, uh, I'll use the term, short circuits the uh, run blocking scheme. And it lets you use the defensive backs, but you don't have to call the run play at him. You can actually call the opposite run play. Um, so in this illustration, um, I'm going to be Daryl Green down here, which is the bottom defensive back, and I'm going to call run one, which is the top run play. And so what it does is it, um, it takes away a run play to the far side of the field. And that's important just because from down here, that's a long distance for Daryl Green to have to run to make the tackle. So you, you stop the, the run play furthest away from you and then you can come in down here and just make the tackle if they come at you but again this only works with defensive backs you can't call opposite side run calls with the outside linebacker or the defensive end so you can only run this opposite call system with the defensive backs so let's get to the video here and so right there i'm gonna stop it i'm daryl green and let's see which play this is so yes, we've called the run play to the opposite half of the field. Now watch what happens when Seattle runs at him. And keep in mind, as we illustrated before, we were showing like Barry Wilburn was blocked when the run play went to his half of the field. Where are you going to see Daryl Green here not blocked? He's just going to come in right here unblocked and make a tackle on Kurt Warner. Right there. Easy. Easy stop. And there we go. This time we're going to run it with Barry Wilburn. So we're going to be the top defensive back. We're calling the run play to the bottom, uh, which is the furthest furthest distance away from you. And so uh, he'll make the, the he'll make the the stop here. Also, what's key here is note where the hash mark is. Um, the ball's on the top hash mark. So on a pitch to Joe Morris, um, you have this this extra bit of room here to the bottom. Um, as you're running down at an angle, you can gain a few more yards because he, he has further to run. Um, so this is a good ploy we like to use based on the hash marks. So we'll run this video here. So we stop that run play furthest away. And then what you'll see here is when they run to the top. 
in. Keep your eye on here. He's just going to come in. He's going to meet Joe Morris at the line of scrimmage, basically. Right there. So, hopefully that sheds some light on some of the things you can do defensively. And again, um, like I said, it confuses people sometimes because I won't use Mike Singletary on defense. But um, the key in Tech Mobile, in my estimation, um, from a guy that's played it, you know, the game thousands of times in two-player situations, is you want to, it's imperative that you shut down the run. So by using the strong side, strong side run call, you know, a top run and being Dexter Manley, you can do that. Well, hope this video has been informative for you, and we'll catch you on our next video.